The Redskins quarterback that day was a guy named Kerry Conklin. Uh, and Kerry Conklin threw three touchdown passes, probably had one of his best career games. And it turned into a game that was an unlikely shootout, but a shootout nonetheless. It was one of the first games I ever covered when I was a beat writer on the Philadelphia Eagles for the Philadelphia Inquirer. And I thought, whoa, Randall Cunningham is not human. What he can do with the football was unbelievable. It comes down to kind of one play and in a, in a one play kind of situation, which is where the Eagles were, it makes sense if you got if you got one bullet left to fire, look for the guy who has the hot hand. Randall Cunningham had a little of a bad rap where he wasn't maybe the most clutch guy in the world in big spots. Well, he disproved that. Drives the Eagles down the field and throws an absolute seed to Calvin Williams. This had kind of been Calvin Williams' day, and I think the Eagles were very smart to look for Calvin Williams in that spot because if, if he was ever going to make the play that wins the game, that was going to be the day that he was going to make it, and he did. It's funny. In Philadelphia, we have names for our games. We have the Fog Bowl. We have the Miracle of the Meadowlands. We have the Bounty Bowl. 1990, Eagles Redskins, the infamous body bag game. Body bag game. Body bag game. The game that always comes to mind with the Redskins is the body bag game. This was the epitome of that Buddy Ryan defense. And the Redskins came in, they had already lost their starting quarterback, Mark Rippon, to injury. And so they went with Jeff Rutledge out of the University of Alabama. Well, the Eagles took care of him, and then they threw in Stan Humphreys. And the Eagles took care of him. I mean, the Redskins threw them out, and the Eagles demolished them with some of the most ferocious hitting I have ever seen. Just a bunch of killers on that side of the ball. You know, whether it was Seth Joyner, whether it was Reggie White, Clyde Simmons, Mike Pitts, Jerome Brown, et cetera, et cetera. Not one, not two, not three. Every quarterback is knocked out to the point where future Eagle Brian Mitchell is taking snaps. He hadn't played quarterback since college. There are a lot of different great moments in the Eagles history and moments that are embraced by the city. But when you're hauling players off the field. I mean, the, the field just strewn with, with Redskin injured here this evening, and I don't, I don't know how it could go much worse for Washington. That's a night I think that people are putting in their top five. If there's one game, and there always, there always is that one you identify, because Buddy Ryan makes it a big deal, it's the body bag game when they just started carting players off the field. If you loved anything about Eagles football, that game kind of encapsulates everything you loved about Eagles defense.